Hello, and welcome back to my casual playthrough of Elden Ring. So, let's do this. Jumping back into my character, and I think I have a rough idea of where I have to go now. Uh, yeah, last time I checked, where am I here? Yep, that's actually not bad. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I think it's somewhere closer to here. We want to get to... Noxtella, whatever. This is actually Noxtella. And I think there was an elevator or something I saw. Wait a second. This was that boss, right? Yeah, okay, this was the wrong way. Uh, wait, how do I go back? Yeah, last time we killed this guy, it was like a big old... Ice dragon that's shooting like ice lightning or something. Wait a sec, how did. Oh, yeah, here, here, here. Oh, and it's dark, so let's get the flame going. I think there's like ants and stuff down here. Big old disgusting ants. So. I think I had to go south or something. Wait, where was I here? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be going, like, over here somehow. And then this takes you around, and, you know, could fall down, and blah, blah, blah. So, this is a dead end. I guess that's a dead end, so let's go this way. I might have to teleport somewhere else, but I think this could be sort of the right way. I'm sorry. <laughs> For no reason. For no reason. I'm also just exploring a bit because I forget, like, you know, where did I go? What did I do? Who did I kill? Uh, this might be the wrong way. But yeah, oh, okay, yeah, there was this bonfire here and there was that guy spitting meteors at us. So, let's try going over this way this time. Oh yeah, look at this. This definitely, oh, oh shit. Okay, just roly-poly through all that. I hear him. He's trying to cast again. Sneaky. Centipede, yeah. This might be the right way. Like climbing up here or whatever. Eh, climb. Up. Oh shit. Ow, ow, ow. Wait, I was here also before. Uh, hmm. Wasn't there an elevator or something? Yeah. Takes you up. I must have made a wrong turn somewhere. But, like, let me check over here real quick. Water, water, water. Just getting drenched. Come on. Here we have all these dudes. Oh, goody. The elevator is not here, so I have to pull it down. I think there was a bonfire up there. I should have probably just warped to that one. Come on. Hurry up. Man, this area is really confusing. I still can't open the map. <sighs> now? No, still not. Still in combat. So there was a bonfire here. Yep, okay. Maybe we can just grab it so that we get out of combat for a second. Let me see. Because I remember we have to kill Blaze. So, wait. Either I have to teleport here and then go like this way. Or... This might take longer if I go this way, right? Yeah, I think I checked this last time. So I'm going to just... Maybe I'll just warp to this one. And then head south and go to the right. 
that's what I saw in a video. He's like, yeah, just go south and then head to the right. So I was like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, this is probably faster this way. So we went south and then went to the left and got into all kinds of crazy shenanigans and fighting this dragon there. But we actually came down here to do Ranny Ranny's quest. You know, um, uh oh, hold on one second. Wow. Um, yeah, Ronnie's quest, and, uh... Uh-oh, again? These dudes are really aggressive. So, I need to go right... Wait, where? Ah, oh, yeah, this this way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Past this dude. And just keep going south, and then a little bit to the right. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I wasn't here because I would have gotten that flower, I guess. Let me grab that real quick. Hello. Roly polies here. Let's hide back here. Or actually, maybe I did go this way. Oh. But I must have screwed up or something. Anyway. Ow. Oh, wow, this one has way more HP than normal. What the hell? Let me back up for a second. Yeah, these ones are evil ants. Wow. Okay, hold on. Before I keep going... Oh, yeah, here I have to take the right. And that's maybe where I made my mistake. Did I go left? Probably. I have to go this away. Or actually, let me just check over here real quick, because I don't remember no flying bugs. Ow, ow. Stop it. Oh, yeah, there was the big... He yeah, yeah, okay, I went that way with the big-headed ant who actually did hit me and took off, like, half of my HP. Oh, uh, look at that. See? I know I didn't go here last time in the other uh, video because... Ta-da! Let me just check I'm recording everything. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, it's frustrating. So big, th the area's so big, and then you get, like, take one wrong turn, and look at that. You end up somewhere completely different. Yep, this is where we wanted to be. Mm, a bonfire down there. Yep, let's grab that then real quick. Plop. And actually, we can explore the city and stuff. Not that we really have to. I think I'm going to just skip it for now and do it later. Because we want to get to Estelle, right? We don't care so much about these giant balls and all this crazy stuff. Uh, also, I don't want to fight these guys. just want to get through here. Did I drop my souls? No, I have all, all of them. Okay. 3,500, so, so few. So, I fought Estelle many, 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 many times as the Ice Mage, the Cryomancer, whatever you want to call him. Because he has a very interesting, like move set and stuff that you can learn and if he grabs you when I, when when I got grabbed I got killed instantly so I would like if possible not to get grabbed by him this time and just you know kill him oh I thought I could climb up here to get this tree well whatever let's just go into the house thing run 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 There's a lot of enemies here. Okay, good. The elevator is there. Just waiting for me. The ant guy gave up. I probably missed some items, but, you know, I don't really need them. I can always come back also. You know. I can come back later. Oh, this elevator is right next to a bonfire. Perfect. And... 
I'm pretty sure that Blaith is going to be the next boss. He might be in there, but let me see what's over here first. I think that, that is the way. This looks like a dead end, right? Like nothing going on over here. Yeah, just some creepy old buildings. Okay, like a level 9. Alright, in we go. Look at that. Running, running, running. Ah, oh, basilisks. Uh oh. I have to stay out of their fog thing, otherwise they will just one shot me, I think. They're um just like in the other Dark Souls games, if that stuff reaches to the maximum, you just die like instantly. Ah. Oh, here oh, he Shadow. is. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch oh, to rend thy flesh oh, shit. with a fateful wound there to heal. Oh man, he's actually pretty strong. Hey. No need for all this. Wow. <laughs> he's hard to, uh get any hits off of. Oh no, he healed himself? Oh, perfect. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, with the Ice Mage, I just kept backing up. This is totally different here. Okay, flap. Whoa, with a jump attack. What? Oh, so close, and I screwed it up. <sighs> oh well. Maybe there's a stake of America or something nearby. Nope. <laughs> okay, just run back to him. Where was he in this little cave? Okay, he's actually quite challenging for melee. For the uh cryomancer whatever, you know, the ice mage. I just kept backing up and shooting him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whoop. Wow, what, like, that's totally unfair. Oh, shit. Maybe I'm supposed to repost him. I wonder if he's going to heal now. Yep. Oh, he has like a lot of repost dam um poise. There we go. Oh, a blood loss. Okay. <laughs> Got you. He's not impossible, though. He's just really annoying. I can't roll. No stamina. Beautifully fought. My yes, I know. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now <laughs> I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Yeah. Cowboy and E.G. I love her. Okay, I will. <laughs> What's funny, though, is, um, 
you, you, you kill her servants and they only like also one thing first thing I wanted to say was he only gave me like what 10,000 souls <laughs> and he was way harder than a lot of bosses in my opinion that was a pretty tricky fight it wasn't like impossible but just annoying um, let me see how much I need to level up 19 so I would need 7,000 I have like something like that maybe the 5,000 one and then 2,000. Perfect. Whatever. Let's just level up because I'm here now. She gave me some key also. Which I can get real quick. Where's level up? Yeah, here. Wow, look at that. Just 11 more levels, guys. And then I will be maxed. So the key goes to the chest that is right here next to Renala. The mother of Rani. I forget what you get though. Probably some crap. Where did he flee, Shut up. Sweet Shut up. Come out from whence he Dark Moon Ring. Okay. What is that? Dark Moon Ring. Ah, here it is. What's this do? Ring of the Lunar Princess Renali's Cold Oath. Uh, uh-huh, okay, whatever. <laughs> if you want to read that, just pause the video. Wait, I have to go back underground. Where was it now? Yep, so we're getting very close now to uh, Estelle, the boss that I want to kill. Oh, uh, yeah, the Lake of Rot. Such a beautiful area. Probably going to die here. But it's okay. I don't really care so much. Because you get, like, rot build up very fast. Might as well just grab all the stuff. Maybe next time I won't get rot. I try to, I'm going to try to activate as many of these, uh, these things as possible. Alright, run for it. You just have to step on this switch, and then it makes platforms, and yeah. Next time you run through here, it will be a little bit more easy. Let's see if I can make it to the third one. I think I have enough potions. I don't think I have enough, though, to make it uh, to the next bonfire without, you know. So where was it? Ah, here. Straight ahead. Gonna heal twice. Probably gonna be dead now. So close. Come on. There could also be enemies, you know, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Oops. Maybe I have the. No, I don't have it. Maybe I can get the items if there are any up here. I don't know. Just before I die. Oh, man. Look how fast Scarlet Rot also. It's like the most vicious poison. No, I don't think I'm going to get anything if there is anything up here. Yeah, no, I'm going to be dead by the time <laughs> I jumped in the air and I'm dead. So I'm not even going to go for those 247 souls. Just forget about it. The thing I have to do is run for the next bonfire. And it should be a little bit easier now since I made the platforms rise up. Maybe I won't get Scarlet Rot so easily. I think I forgot to do a running jump here. So what you want to do is get here and then jump. Because then you have like a little bit more distance and then jump quickly. Yep, see? No Scarlet Rot. Oh. Come on. Come on, come out. Here he is. Oh man, his his death stuff is gonna kill me. Okay, just you know what? It's not worth my time. 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. I have to wait till the Scarlet Rot wears off, though. Might as well kill these little guys. Okay, I think I should be good. Let's run and jump. Run, 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 jump. Okay, that's just a waiting game over here. I should have probably bought all of the cookbooks and stuff from all of the merchants I ever come came across. But I didn't, so... Now we have to wait a little bit. Um, I think that's the next platform I have to get to. Or wait, was it? Actually, you know what? Wait, I'm gonna... Again, maybe suicide. There might be more platforms to raise up. Like, I think here is one. Okay, gotta watch the HP. Uh-huh. Ah, also I have actually three more potions if I switch it over to health potions. Which might be a smarter choice since this is really far to run. But actually maybe I will make it. Let's just see. I have five right now. Three more. I think I I think I should make it. It's down here somewhere. Yep, there's the bonfire. So as long as I play it kinda safe. Should be okay. There we go. So you can make it with exactly what... I have two left over, so I can just check real quick. So five five red potions, and you should be able to make it if you're fast. And you jump, and you don't get Scarlet Rot right away like I, I did on that first part. Yeah, this is the Grand Cloister. And we're trying to get, like, to about here. And this will take us down to... This is this Estelle guy, right? So... I think that's what I needed the stupid ring for. Otherwise, you can't continue. Can I just jump here, or... Do I have to go down? Hold on. I forget how this works. Oh. Take it. Oh, level 10. Okay. <laughs> I think you're supposed to drop right here. Yep. It's fine. You don't even take fall damage. And then, yeah, I think just right here. And then here. And then there's those, like, bug dudes again. But these ones are, like, the powered-up version. So we're going to sort of just ignore them, I hope. There's also some item or something over there, which I don't really care for. So I'm going to go this way. I don't want them to get aggressive... There is also another a mini boss that you can fight in the Scarlet Rot, I think, which is like kind of crazy. Here, rest in the coffin. You don't even have to be in the water to go into this one. And then he rides the coffin down, you know, to the to the next bonfire, I think. I'm just skipping all the cutscenes. I don't care. Where was it? You cannot ride it back up, obviously. It might not even be a bonfire. It might be just yeah. I think it's just a stake of America. Let's let's see if anybody is around here. Probably not, right? Yeah. No. Okay. It would have it would have been kind of funny. Okay. Let's see how I do. I might die a few times. I know this one. Just gonna do the tail thing next, probably. Maybe not. Let's see. Okay. He's not so bad. Oh, yeah, this is bad, though. It's 
the same like Ronnie, you know? Or Ronella, I mean, with the laser. Just walk and roll a little bit delayed. Oh, what? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Just teleporting. You have that's a delayed roll. And then he disappears again. Asshole boss. <sighs> uh oh. That's the gravity thing, yeah. That does a lot of damage if you get caught in it. He actually moves relatively slow. So... Okay, I was lucky. He might be doing the meteor thing now, which means you have to run. Yep. Oh, no. He's doing the beam. Come on. Right in the head. Oh, no. I need a healing potion, and I killed myself. Ah, Wrong potion. Whatever. We'll get him. I'll probably most likely beat him faster than I did uh, with the Ice Mage. The Ice Mage took forever. I think I even had to leave and then get like stronger <laughs> weapons and stuff. Because I couldn't do enough damage or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to time that. Bro has no chill. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now he's down. Boom! This I could not do with the Ice Mage. Just be aggressive. Oh no, wrong way. <laughs> I rolled right into that. Holy shit. Come here. Come on, one more. No. Come on. Oh my god. Oh shit, I have to run towards him. And roll, 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 roll. Oh, I was wondering why. I'm doing so little damage. Now I know. Lucky I was on the ground. He's probably going to do the beam. Yeah. Woo, that was close. Come on. Oh, man. He always sort of raises himself up. Yep, again.
Is he coming for me or what's he doing? Uh, oh, no. Get just close to him. Here's good. Come on. Again. Nice. Yeah, again, again, again. And one more. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, it's all or nothing now. I just have to fight good. Oh, that was it. Ah, oh, damn, I ran out of potions. Too much reliance on the L2s, I guess, and missing too much. Had I hit him with some more of those L2s, it would have been over. So, I think it's good, the balance of potions and mana potions, because... I missed a few times. Be nice to again get this crazy uh, stagger off. I have to close the distance so he does the tail thing instead. There we go. thing please oh man Oh, I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> we'll get him. We'll get him. <sighs> Look at all the blood stains. <laughs> Everyone has trouble, I guess. That laser beam is really nasty. Com it's it's worse than Radon's arrows, by far. Oh man, that does a lot of damage. I always roll twice there because I don't know. You can sort of hear it like this. How it's like getting stronger and stronger. The charge of the beam. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like like in Mega Man or something. I know that doesn't make much sense, but... Let's just go with some R1s. Uh-oh. Roll out of this. Come on, roll. I can heal actually right now. Let's wait for him to do something. Oh, he wanted to grab. Okay, I need some stamina. Nope. Is it over? Yeah. Okay. So that is a one one hit kill even for um a melee build. If you misroll that, it's just over. No panic rolling. That's what the game is trying to teach you is like don't panic roll, roll when it's the right time, you know. And he has a lot of delayed stuff actually. That's why it's like kind of annoying. So You see, it's it's a little bit of timing, but it's also about hearing the the laser beam charge. It gets kind of louder, I think. It's hard to explain it if you if you don't play Elden Ring with the headphones. 
Oh shit. Let me get the hell out of that. And then go back in. Come on. Oh wow, that does also a lot of damage. Roll. Yep. Once he starts to try to bite you. He's probably going to do the beam. Yeah. See, you can sort of hear it. It's weird. You can, like... Ow. You can sort of time it and hear it. Oh, man. Oh, I actually hit him that time. Come on. Yes. This is nice. This is good. I can also use then this thing. Quickly. And maybe even this. Yeah, he's disappearing. Oh, good. I thought he was going to come for this grab attack. Oh, shit. Yeah, run towards him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just mashing all the buttons, hoping. Oh no, it doesn't work. Yeah, if you don't hit him in the head, it's just doing like 100 damage. Oh shit. I'm talking too much. Oh man. Come on. Oh, now he's disappearing. The beam? Let's see. No, the meteors. Oh, my God. You bastard. Oh, shit. Look at this. No, it doesn't even look like he's taking any damage. Okay. Oh shit, it didn't hit. Okay, now I have to play a little bit careful because I'm almost out of potions. Maybe I can stun him quickly. Come on. Nope. Let's get towards his head. Good. Oh no. It's really hard to roll through all of them. Okay, come on. This is it. Come here, you bitch. No. Come on, one more. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. I was too greedy. I was too greedy. Uh, I had like one HP left. And I had so... I had enough mana and everything to... Uh, well, okay, whatever. Let's try again. It's a fun fight. Even if you lose, you know, it's like, I'm not getting frustrated. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. So he's going to do the beam, like always, right? No? Yeah. Vroom. Starting to get good at dodging the stupid beam. Is it the beam, or what's he going to do? Let's see. Yep, the beam. <laughs> you missed, you missed, sucker. What? Oh, shit. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it hits heavy. Oh 
Oh no. That's the end of the fight. Oh. Okay. Well, I was wrong. That was too early to roll, so I rolled twice. Because I knew I did it. Come on, one more. Ooh. <laughs> So if he grabs me now, I'm fucked. Oh no, he didn't. Come on. Ow. Ah. Oh. gonna heal just a safety heal what's he doing oh oh shit come on what there we go that second R1 missed but then the third one that I did connected so whoo all right Pain in the ass. And that's a that's a good amount of souls, actually. 80,000. That seems somehow fair. Oh, man. The bonfire's all the way back there. Uh, okay. But maybe, actually, that's the way I have to go. Um, because I already got the ring from Ronnie. The exit of the cave opened up. If you don't get the ring, then you have to teleport back in here once you get it to go down Ronnie's little hole. And finally, we get the weapon we were after all along. So I might have to respec now as well. I'll show you guys all that stuff. Actually, this doesn't matter then. We'll just put it like this. So for the Dark Moon... Uh, the Dark Moon Greatsword, you need 11 strength and 11 dexterity to two-hand it. Like, the same like I do with the katana, right? Um, which means, actually, in theory, I don't even need that because I have this. Which is, you know, if I, if I remove this, you can see... Right? Like, this thing is giving me, like, plus 5, I think. Yeah, 11, 17. Yeah, this thing is giving me plus 5. Hell, this one even gives, like, plus 3, I think, or something. Or wait, 11 to 14. Yeah, this is plus 3, this is plus 5. So, in theory, I don't even need strength or dexterity yet. But I do need a certain amount of intelligence. Something like 36, 38. So, that's why I have to respec. And... 25, 22. Ah, uh, the 22 and 16. That's probably roundabout. Because I already have 10 in intelligence, so I only need like 26 levels, something like that. So I probably even have enough. Mm, or I'm going to go kill that dragon for some more experience real quick. There's the... um, What's it called? That big-ass dragon that's sleeping... You know, near where all the little baby dragons are in Kaelid. And I think he also gives you tons of souls, like 50k or something like that. Alright, up we go. All the way up. Okay, awesome. I'm not sure if this is where you get the sword, but I think this is where there's this dragon. Adula, right? I'm gonna skip it. I'm not gonna fight him now. If, unless I have to. 22. That's 5,000 more, roughly. I think I might have. Yeah, it looks like... Yep. Let's just use one of these. And level up. Because then, then I can actually fight the dragon without worrying about losing my souls. Yeah, and I only have 400 something souls, so it's okay. We'll just let's just fight the old bastard. He's or she's like a big ice dragon and has a really nice ice spell. 
Um, you can almost argue it's better than some of those carrion magic swords because it does also frost. I think it has a beam. It's kind of weird. It's almost like the moonlight... The, no, the dark moon greatsword, but as a spell, you know? Yep, there he is. Let's see if I do some damage or not. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's not the worst. Oh, shit. <laughs> he also does some heavy damage. Oh, just one second too slow. Take a chance to heal. Oh no, the rock! <laughs> Shit. Can I ride a horse here? Oh, okay, this makes it much easier. So it's just like every other dragon. Yo, what? I think he attacked from behind? Hopefully he bleeds. Oh no, the horsey. Probably his bleed has reset by now. Oh well, wow. okay. Oh, he killed me. That's the spell that's super dangerous. You have to get actually under him. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. But actually, I don't even need to kill this dragon. I'll just do. I'll try one more time. Oh wow, did you see the assets loading in there? The whole grass and textures and stuff. I actually just have to go over there to this this church building. Hey, where's the dragon here? Or Oh, there he is. If I'm lucky, I can bait him out to do like a breath attack. Let's see. Hey big hey big boy over here, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yo, what? Dive, yup. Kind of weird, but he's like not really bleeding. Come on, bleed. Show me that you bleed. Uh oh. Okay, this is a good time to punish. Ah, uh, this bullshit again. Good, there's rocks. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the tail spin, I know. Why does he not not bleed? Oh, he does. Okay. Just took a really long time.
not going so good because I have no more potions. I think you have to just behind be behind some rocks or something. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to just leave the dragon because for me, it's more of a stress and I don't need that spell right now or ever. So <laughs> and I killed him in my other video, so if you want to see that, if you want me to see him sort of cheesing him a bit because I was like hiding inside these ruins, right? And using the walls and stuff for cover. But, yeah, that's a much easier strategy, to be honest. Huh? Where are these guys? Yo. Uh, wait. Maybe this is the wrong temple. I think it is the one where the dragon spawns. Or maybe he's mandatory. Let's see. Maybe not. Starlight shards or something. Yeah. These little things like restore your mana, but like pretty slowly over time. I I would never use them actually really unless it's like a total emergency. Because the mana potion just heals much more, much faster. And these are kind of actually rare, and I think they're used for something else, so... Yeah, and by the way, that hole is where I'm going to get the Dark Moon Greatsword. So... Oh, there was one more back here. Let me grab this one. Okay. And, yep, grab the bonfire. And... Light this. Let's jump down the holes. Yeah, here you can actually die if you fall down the hole. Where is it? Wait, what? Where was the hole? Ah, here. You have to actually, like, look where to jump down. So just here. And... I think if you just sort of walk here... Yeah. You shouldn't take any fall damage or die. Take it slow. I don't think there's any enemies down here. It's just for Ronnie's little cave. Not sure why she's down here. I don't know the lore. But yeah, you can see there's two fingers here with a lot of blood and gore and shit. Oh, this is the I think this is the way out. Um, yep, so there's the two fingers. They look kind of look at the fingers even look a bit twisted. Or like gnarled, you know, like as if they were broken. And there's Ronnie just sitting here. We can watch the cutscene, because it takes forever to do this quest. I actually don't know what happened in this. He's also, like, looking at it like, huh? It's just a puppet. And then you give the... The ring you found in, you know in the mother's chest next to her. Back to Ronnie, the puppet. It's also covered in blood, so it's very weird. I don't know, did she kill this thing and then she's just sitting there? I don't think she comes alive, but she talks to you now. Yeah, it's very weird. And now, in theory, you can do like the ending, I think, of the game with Ronnie. Unless I missed something. For the quest. Ah, oh, there she is. Yeah. So it was thee. Perhaps I, I am pleased. I go now to the night sky. I bid thee, and once all is done. There we go. Very nice sword. Okay. So that's actually the weapon I wanted to use for my playthrough, right? So that's why I did all of this extra stuff, just to get this sword. Um, so let's take a look at what we needed. 
in terms of stats. It has D&D &D scaling at the moment because I didn't upgrade it yet. It needs 38 int. And then uh, 11, in theory 11 strength if you you know hold it in two hands and 11 dex. So, okay. So we could also put 11 11 and then get rid of this thing to replace it with something else like I don't know this or this or whatever. Um This is also good to, I think, equip it with it that because it's also like intelligence based, right? Mm. Right. Okay. Um, so let's go. Do, wait, before I travel there, let me check if I. I think I have a Laravel tier at least. I think I got like five or six of them. In fact, yeah. Okay. Thirty-eight intelligence. It's a lot. And ideally, in order to um, get the most out of the weapon itself, you have to also upgrade it. And I think it starts to scale with intelligence the best. You can also put like strength and dex. Where did he flee? But it makes no sense, right? Is it thy way? So we might lose a little bit of HP here. So just in theory to see how much it would do right like I'm gonna put 38 look at this right now my damage on the R armament one is 125 and then you put one more point oh I don't have it equipped never mind okay well whatever then 38 so I will just either do this and this I think 20 endurance is still good Ooh, I would lose a lot of um, a lot of vigor actually Okay, before I do then the rebirth, I want the dragon because he gives like 50k, which is good. Right here. He's pretty easy. You, I might even switch the weapon to something that does more bleed. Bleed build up. And do I have a... Yes, I do. Awesome. So... We can switch to that. Or actually, I'm going to be careful and put it at the end because I don't want to use it by accident. And let me see. This has nothing to do with damage, but just bleed build up. Okay, they're both 45. Ah, oh, this is 55. Frost build up. That's also good. Not sure if the dragon can be frost bitten, but yeah, whatever. 55. 50, 50. 55. Mm hmm. So I'm just going to switch to this one. Nice. Is this the one with the... Yeah. It's a pretty cool L2. So what I want to do is get him down to almost nothing. And then I'll use the golden thing. And yep. We want to attack him somewhere where we can see the HP. He has very high tolerance. So it actually might, might take a, take some time. There we go. That was the first one. Look, 13,000 damage. Oh, okay, cool. Look, the R2s. Get some. I wonder if that changed from an R1. So if I could do like this and now hold R2. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll just do R1s. Make sure.
make sure that no dragons are coming. Man, it takes ages. But it's worth it. There we go, another 13. Oh, you know, I just thought of something, but I think it's not going to work because I don't have enough strength to one hand the Nagi Kaba, whatever it's called. But it would have been funny with two two um, katanas and just L1, L1, L1. Come on. Whoa. Let me see if I can... Because now he's about halfway dead. 18. Yeah, I don't have enough. If, if, if they let you equip two of these Radagon things, then I would have enough, but I don't, so... Or do I have something that boosts strength? No. more blood losses no, and then the the third one would be the kill come on you big dinosaur there we go yep we're getting closer I wonder if this triggers blood loss faster because I'm hitting harder? Probably not. I think it's slower. But we can try it. imagine you had to fight this guy like how big he would be it's like fighting a skyscraper <laughs> with a sword oh man there we go we're getting very close now I'm gonna even switch to this Just in case I kill him. By the way, if this is boring, please do skip ahead, you know. It is kind of boring to watch me chopping away at a dragon. I think this might actually kill him. Yep. So I have to eat this quickly. Nice. Nice. 96,000 souls. Because I ate the golden thing, you know? Okay. It didn't give me that many level ups. Just four, but... You know, it's something. And now we have a whole bunch of runes we can eat as well. I will need to save a little bit for the sword to upgrade the sword, but... Yeah. Let's see how much this gives me. Mm. 
Oh, I have like 33 of them. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I probably have more than enough then. I can always find more runes later, so I don't really care. Oops. I'll leave the last two sets for, you know, there we go, another 91, might be another three levels, yeah, exactly three, 28 would be the next level up, how much are these ones worth, four, Four times sixteen, uh, two would be thirty-two. So sixty, what six four? Yeah, it's not enough. Wait, let me see real quick. Yeah, that's not even close. Okay, we'll keep the rest for you know. So, oh yeah, and I can also just start to upgrade the weapon. Why not? We have all of the somber smithing stones up to, like, plus five, or I don't even know what, plus four. Let's just charge over here. Not this one. Uh, here. Dark Moon Greatsword, right? So, level one, level two, level three, level four. And that's it. There's no level five yet. But you can see already the intelligence scaling now is B. So, that's already good. Okay. We can go back up to her. And now we can respec. Um. Oh, actually, just to show. I'm going to go outside for a second. Because you can't swing your weapon in here. Can I? Okay, cool. Now I can hold it in two hands, which is important because then you can see how much I need exactly for when I level up, right? So here we go. Bye bye, beautiful health bar. Okay, I think just 11, 11, and let's see if 38. Yeah, you see the jump? It goes from 241. Or two two thirty seven. Boom to three hundred ninety, and then it scales with intelligence m mainly, right? So wait, let me try to get my stats kind of back to how they are. Twenty twenty endurance is good, even for now. Ooh, thirty eight vigor. I will be losing HP in favor of this. In fact. Yeah, but the damage is much, much higher, so it's actually okay. It's not a big deal. And I don't really need any other stats. But yeah, we're going from 60 down to 38. I'm losing, like, so much. 22 uh, levels. From 1900 to back down to 1355. Just to use the sword, you know. But in theory, we could also... How much... See, like, just taking two off of from here is just losing three points of stamina. In theory, we could take the... We could re-level up the endurance at some point and just put it now for this so we don't have such a heavy loss in our vigor. Maybe we can do, like, 45 here and put some more in here. 396. Oh, wait, let me see if I can get a nice 400. Nope. 400? Nice, look at that. <laughs> yep. But actually, I don't care so much about that. I will keep it at 40. And... Do something like this. Another thing would be, I could get two more points if I don't level up these two. Oh, wow, look at that. Because I have that Radagon thing. Mm, 46 is not bad. Endurance is pretty bad, but most of my attacks will do so much damage. And I, I could just switch to this 
because that, now I don't need the Radagon thing anymore. I could switch to this um, thing that gives you also like 10 endurance. This 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 green metal thing. So. That's just four points. Wow, and that's a lot more HP. Look, 1606. 1656. Yeah, 50, 50 HP for just two... <laughs> Two points is a lot. I think I'll go like that. Okay, cool. We're only level 69, so there's still plenty of time to level up. And now, actually, I don't even need that many mana potions. So, f oh, am I heavy? No. Okay. So, first things first. Th this I don't need. Mm, I'll keep this because maybe I will be able to still R2 stuff. This also I don't need. Oh, now I'm heavy. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. 108. Okay, let's give this one. Oh, you can't do this one then. Okay, fine. Raises maximum equip load. Okay, that could also be useful. Or this, just for more stats. Uh... I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll go with the more stats and take a tiny bit more damage, right? Inc greatly raises attributes but also increases damage taken. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it like that. Oh, what's all these bars here? Okay. Cool. Good stuff. And yeah, plus 4. That's fine. And we could try now fighting that horse guy again. Another thing is we we don't really need that much mana. We could use like just even one mana potion for now. All right. Let's see if we can I'm I, I don't know if I will be able to beat him, but we can give it a shot. Yeah. Okay, last things Where's the stairs here? Or wait. Oh yeah, yeah, it's this way. It's this way. It's so confusing because a lot of stuff looks the same here as well. But there's like this staircase that leads you pretty much straight to the archer dudes, which leads you straight to the to the guy on the horse. And now that we got the sword, I can actually start to do also side dungeons and just take my sweet time. There's no real rush. I, I don't even have to fight this horse guy. I could go back down explore more down there with the lakes. I just wanted this weapon, you know. That was my my goal. And by video 3, look, now I have it. Oh yeah, I forgot they're shooting at me too. <laughs> so I gotta be a little bit careful. I don't want to lose HP here. Oh. Yeah, seems to be targeting me. Leave me alone. So, I assume we're going to be able to do some massive damage against the guy. Because I'm going to buff my weapon. And, you know, he has a few seconds before he actually starts to attack. So, we can do a fully charged R2. And even another one. Oh, wow, look. Wow, okay. Whoa, he got frostbitten. Oops. Ah, I'm playing a little bit dumb. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Is he gonna charge? Yeah. I can heal once. I rolled. What? It didn't it didn't calculate. Oh, the buff is gone already. Oh, okay, I have to be careful with the buffs.
Let's try again. That was way better than with the Nagakiba, whatever it's called. Okay, mid-fight, I'm going to have to reapply the, the Moonlight buff. But I should have enough mana and stuff. Like, Yeah, it only takes like half of your mana bar. Look at that. Oh, frostbitten again. Oh, I'm not close enough? Oh, come on. Oh, I'm getting greedy. It's dumb. Not a very good trade. Oh, the second one. Okay, reply. Okay, I got it off though. chip damage, but hey, I'll take it. Oh no. Okay. Ugh. I need to find a tree or something, yeah. This is good. Oh, I thought the horse was going to spit fire. Okay, I can't see what he's doing, so I have to... So close. I noticed that after he does that sort of shockwave thing, his his weapon goes back to uh, the normal state. Also, I should try again to get this horse to sort of stomp me. I should just stand in front of him while he's doing the fireballs. Yeah. So, let's get kind of close. Buff. Run up. As close as possible, yeah. Uh-oh. Come on. Try to stop me, Morsi. What? Okay, I should do quick R1s and not... R2s, I mean, not charged ones. Oh, I wonder if I have the Godfrey icon.
I couldn't roll. Oh look, I'm almost winning. No. The damn horse. If I can frostbite him, I think his frostbite has worn off. Uh oh. It's buff. Ow. Oh man. One more. Nope. Now the horse. Yeah, I knew it. Ah. Uh, there we go. All right. Finally, we killed that stupid horse guy. He also gives a good amount of uh, souls and a shield. So I'm pretty happy with that. We can probably even level up once or twice, depending on 28. So probably 28 plus 30. I might need like... Well, let's just level up and see then, yeah. Nice. See, the sword is already doing much more damage, and it procs the frostbite quite a lot, which is awesome. Um... Damage or HP? I think I'll just get this to a nice round 50. 9,000 it says, so... 4, 8, 16, 32. Wait, how much did I need? I'll do this. I, don't, I, remember, I forgot how much I needed. 29186. Two nine. Mm -hmm. Wait, these are worth two hundred, so that's five thousand two nine. I think that should be enough. Two nine one eight six, was it? Yep. Should be enough. Okay, now that we're at 50 bigger, I'm just going to keep going with intelligence, and yeah. Alright, where should I go next? I could keep going and like exploring stuff in here, but we didn't even explore that much, right? We were just skipping a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff we did, actually, it's not true. I did do quite a bit down here and here. Um, oh yeah, we could... We could try killing, like, the air tree avatars and stuff now that we have a nice weapon. Mm. And there's also the Godfrey icon, which when you charge, you know, and also the Shard of Alexander and stuff like that. Do, do I have the Godfrey icon? I know where to get it. So, we c okay. Let's see. I'm going to first try to fight this air tree avatar to see what he drops. I forget. Um... I could use probably the intelligence boosting thing for now. Just so I do more damage, you know. Um, 
during boss fights and stuff like that. I think one of them... I think the one that gives the intelligence is the tree that's, like, right here. But, uh, yeah, whatever. The one in Kaelid in the north, I think, gives you holy and lightning boosts. Oh, wow, these guys go down with one hit. Okay. Um, okay, there's a stake of America, which is awesome as well. And nothing between me and the tree. So, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. Maybe I can even sneak. Oh, no, he saw me. Okay, let's buff. Oh, wow. Look at the damage. Oh, what? I've rolled. Maybe I rolled at the wrong time. Oh! I could have criticaled him, but I killed him just with two R2s real quick. Yeah, this boss is very similar to, like, the Asylum Demons from Dark Souls. One and three. So, just just saying, if you know how to beat them, then yeah, you shouldn't have too much of a hard time. I'm just checking if there's anything else around here. Just one of these guys. Look at that. Even those beetles, one hit, they're they're dead. I think with the sword, it was at least two or three hits. Okay, I think that's it here. But I did hear singing. Let's take a look if we can find the bats. There's those monkey things. Yeah, there's a singer. Look at this. We can we can cheese the bats now. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Oh, man. She's doing poison and stuff. Ow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the power of this thing is just insane. Also, if you get invaded for whatever reason, this this sword like catches a lot of people off guard. Just the damage it does. I don't think a lot of people like have that good magic defense, right? So, yeah, there's that. Okay, we killed this one. Um, I think we already got this one. We could go for this one. This one is really annoying to get to. Oh yeah, there's an earth tree right here. I think this one is not too hard to get to, so we could just... Let's just kill some earth trees, just for fun. Just down in the south. Oh, I'm missing soul somewhere. Oh yeah, I think it's just anyways, zero. Oh, just next to the to the to the guy on the horse Oh hey I just killed your sister How you doing Having a good day Oh Sorry <laughs> You just ride in there and kill the crap out of them. Actually, my stamina doesn't look too bad with that that talisman. How how much if I do this? Ooh, okay. It's a bit of a it is a yeah. Bit of a chunk. Enhances charged attacks. Hmm. Could be useful. But I think I need something that's more like enhances the charged spells and skills. Because that's exactly what I think that is. We can even test it out like on some low level enemies like those sheeps or something. 
just to see the damage difference once I get the Godfrey icon. Oh shit, something... Someone's invading me here, or what? I'm gonna grab the bonfire then. Oh yeah, here. Let him attack first. Roll catch, bitch. That's it. <laughs> no chance. Vanished Knight's Halberd plus eight. Okay. Wow. That's good. I should have checked some of those things instead of using then the Nagi Kiba thing and trying to find all the stones. Some dudes just drop you like plus eight weapons and stuff. I wonder if there's someone who drops like a plus twenty weapon. That would be sick. Oh, how do I get up there? There's all these little saplings. Maybe you have to ride around a bit. Yeah, probably here. There's a church over there as well. We can check that out in a second. Okay. Minor Ur Tree. Oh, another one of them. So, you know the deal. Let's get close. This is pretty good. Yep. I knew it. Oh no! Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Oh shit. Look at that damage. Oh, owie. Maybe I can... Maybe I can even knock him. Yeah. Yeah, what? What? Go to hell. Enemy felled. Give me something. Yep, Cerulean Tear, Rupture Tear. Okay, cool. So, before I forget, I wanted to do... What was it? I said it before. I didn't want to do Air Trees. I wanted to get the Godfrey thing. And I think it's... Yeah, I think it's here, in this thing. So, yeah, let's put a thing here. Let's remove the other one. Where am I? Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Because we just got that. So. Yeah, I guess I'll just teleport here and then ride back. Or I can just... Actually, I'll just ride to this one and take the elevator up. No biggie. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this next time. We marked the map. So, yeah, we're really close. And I know what I want to do. So, yeah... I have to actually go, that's why. <laughs> but thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.